Let's carry out this integration. We're going to find the integral, the definite integral from 1 to 5 of x squared dx. We did um, a somewhat similar one before. We had used 8 strips, 7 strips, and 6 strips with x cubed. Now let's use 6 strips with x squared, alright? But direct integration. Part A. We're integrating from 1 to 5 of x squared dx. That will give us x cubed divided by 3 from 1 to 5. That will be 5 cubed over 3 minus 1 cubed over 3. That's going to be 125 over 3 minus 1 third. 125 minus 1 third. 125 minus 1, I mean, is 124. Divided by 3. Alright? So that gives us 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 12, 4. 3 into 4 goes 1 time. And 1 third. So it's 41 and 1 third we got. We get for it. So direct integration gives us 41 and 1 third square units. So there we have that. Now, let's look at using Simpson's rule with six strips. Let's, let's just get some of these workings out of the way. And then we go to Simpson's rule. Now, we look at our formula sheet for part B, Simpson's rule. The area is going to be approximately equal to um, one third H, first plus last in bracket, one third H, then the first plus the last. Plus four times odd ordinates plus two times even ordinates. All right. So here with six trips, what is H? The thing is, if we had the curve, I will start at one. We would call this y zero, right? You notice the formula says y zero plus y n. Y zero, the first ordinate we haven't covered any area yet. Then, if we have this as our x coordinates, then we have y one cover the first strip. Um. Now, H, by the way, is really the width of the strips. I don't know why they didn't use, just use W for it. But anyway, um, for, in our formula sheet, H is the width of the strip. H is B minus A over N. Well, that means if you're integrating from A to B, H would be B minus A over N upper value minus the lower value divided by the number of strips. So what is our H? <coughs> our H is equal to our B would be 5 minus our A would be 1 over number of strips. N is 6. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 6 which is 24, 2, 26, 3. H is 2 thirds, right? So that means the width of this is 2 thirds. Right. Now we're using six strips. So one, this is one, two so far, three, four, five, six. We have six strips there. We have y zero, y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, y six. 
All right. We want the value of each ordinate. So let's set up a table and we can calculate the value of the ordinates and put it in that table. So these are x's. Now, our first x is 1. So if we start here, <coughs> I'll come here, 2 thirds more. Our next x would be 1 plus 2 thirds. Right? 1 plus 2 thirds. Same as 1 and 2 thirds. 1 and 2 thirds. 3, 1, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 thirds. 2 thirds more. 5 thirds plus 2 thirds gives 7 thirds. Then we continue until we reach 5. That's going to be what? Uh, 15 thirds. So two thirds, one and two thirds, that's five thirds, six, seven thirds, eight, nine thirds, but nine thirds is three, ten, eleven, eleven thirds, twelve, thirteen, thirteen thirds, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen thirds, fifteen thirds is five, so that's five. So we have all of the x values. And then we calculate the y values. So it will be x squared. 1 squared is 1. 5 over 3 squared is 5, 5, 25 over 3, 3 is 9. 7 over 3 squared, 7, 7 is 49 over 3, 3 is 9. 3 squared is 9. 11 over 3 squared. 11, 11 is what? 121 over 9. And then 13 squared. 13 squared is what? 169. 169. Then 5 squared <coughs> is 25. Alright, so we have these things here. Let's just erase some of the working that we had done before previously. Now here. The Simpsons rule now. Say so one third h. So the area is approximately equal to one third times the height, which is two third times. Uh, we use square brackets here. First plus last. The first ordinate for y is one plus the last one is twenty five. Plus then four times the odd. So it's four times the odd. Now let's see which are even and which are odd. This is y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6. Alright? Remember on the graph, these are the values. Y0 will go up to as high as 1. Y1, the height of it is 5 over 3. So the height, this goes up to 5 over 3. Y2 is 49 over 9. Is this height. Right. Um, Y3 would be 9. 49 over 9 is 9, 3, so it's 9, 4, so it's 9, 5. It's 5 point something. And then it goes up to Y3, which is 9. This height is 9. This height is 121 over 9. Right? 13. What's this I have here? 169 over 9. What is 13 over 3? 13 squared. 13 squared is 169. So it should be 169 over 3 that I have there. Alright, good thing I took another look at it and saw it should be 169 over 3. Alright. 
As for the 25, that's the height of the last one. Alright. Alright, so here now. Four times the odd ordinate. Four times the odd ordinate. The odd ordinates would be y1, y3, y5. So y1 is 25 over 9 plus y3 is 9 plus y5 is 169 over 9. What? I'll put 3, I'll put 3 there. Why am I? Let me rewrite this thing. 169 over 9 is 3 squared. 169 over 9. Right, that's what I should have there. Alright. So, here now. That is what I have there. So, the plus who even, two times the sum of the even ordinates now. It's two times. The even ordinates would be y2 and y4. y6 is an even ordinate, but remember, it's a, the last ordinate, which are, we had already used here. All right? So y2, 49 ninth, plus 4 y4 is 121 ninth. All right. Remember, nine is nine over one. And if you multiply the one by nine, we get nine. If you multiply the nine by nine, we get eighty-one. So, these common denominators in fractions are using. So you just need to worry about adding the top numbers now, the numerators, and put it back over the same denominator when you're working it out. So here now, this is 2 over 3, 3 is 9, right? 1 plus 25 is 26, plus 4 times, and then we have the 25 plus 81 plus 169. What will that give us? 25 plus 81 plus 169 equal 275 4 by 275 plus 2 times and then we have 121 plus 49 so 121 plus 49 gives us 170. Alright, so 170. Oh, over 9. I have to be careful, you know. Alright, I have to be very careful here. So the area is 2 ninths times 26 plus. And then we have 4 by. 275 4 times 275 equal 1100 and then we have 2 times uh, um, 170 equal 340 so one of them is 1100 the other one is 340 1100 340 and these are over 9 right so what do it, does it give is 2 over 9 times let's just Work this part out now. So you have 26 plus 1100 over 9 plus 
340 over 9 equal so that gives us 186 2 over 9 by 186 so 2 over 9 by 186 now so we have 2 divided by 9 equal times 186 equal for the 1 and 1 third so what's this? For the one and one third, we get back the exact value. For the one and one third square units. All right. Good. Now, it's finally the part C, the trapezium rule. So it's now trapezium rule. Is the same width, the width, or I wrote it down here, two thirds. But part C now, let's just erase the working that we have here and use the trapezium rule on it. All right? What the trapezium rule says, according to our um, formula sheet here, Half H, first plus last, is going to be the area is approximately equal to half H, first plus last, plus two times the others. Two times the others. Alright? So, that's the trapezium rule. So what we have here is the area is approximately equal to half times h, which is two thirds, times the first plus last, one plus twenty-five, right? Plus two times all of these. Let's just add them up directly with our calculator. So here now, we have 25 over 9 plus 49 over 9 plus 9 plus 121 over 9 plus 169 over 9 equal hmm, 49.44444 let's just look back at it make sure everything is alright 24 over 9 plus 49 over 9 plus 9 plus 121 over 9 plus 169 over 9 equal so it's 49.4 repeat it 49.4 Repeating. All right. So, but sometimes point for repeating is written with a line over it instead of these three dots. All right. So here now, what we have is that the area is when you have half by two thirds, you get one third, and this is one is twenty five plus one is twenty six plus. 2 times 49.4 repeating. So, let's take care of that with our calculator. So here, this times 2 equal, all right, plus 26 equals, okay, Times one third means over three. Over three equals forty one point four. Call it no forty one point six three. 
41.63. So we have 41.63. Quite close, right? The, the trapezium rule. What does it say? The Simpsons rule is more accurate than the trapezium rule. And in some cases, the Simpsons rule even give you the exact value as direct integration. 